What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically add your own payloads into your webkit. So see these buttons that we have in here, we know that these buttons in the webkit can uh, inject a payload without us having to manually do it from our computer and you know load a .bin payload into Netcat GUI or PS4 AIO or any other payload injector and having to type in your PS4's IP and port number and inject it every single time you want to inject that custom payload. Uh, obviously it's a lot easier with this where if I want the homebrew enabler I just select hen and it injects it for me and I don't have to do anything on the computer. So that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to basically add our own custom payloads as buttons in the webkit like this so that we can just inject them without having to do all that injecting from netcat um, so that is basically the idea now the reason we're able to do this is because um, we can host the webkit locally on our local area network where we can you know add files and, and edit the 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 files which we can't do with any of the the ones that are hosted like this one on dark software um, and other ones as well like the other dns addresses so we're basically going to try and do it uh, ourselves so I recommend you watch my previous video if you if you don't know how to host the webkit locally. I sh made a video showing multiple different methods of hosting the webkit locally. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But assuming that you have that and you have that set up and it's working, uh, we can go ahead and look at how to uh, add our custom uh, payloads in. So as you know, payloads come in .bin format. So I've got a GTA 5 mod menu here that I'm going to use an, as an example that's been ported to 4.55. So we've also got the web, this is the version or what I'm using to host it, um, the PS4 WebKit host, uh, which you know sets up the DNS redirect for you. So what we're going to do, uh, if you go into exploits and you go to 4.55 or 4.05 I guess, if you're on that, and here's basically the payloads in here so you've got the website here you've uh, hen original so if I want to add a GTA 5 menu all I have to do is create a new folder um, and this is the laminates laments menu so I'll call it that call the folder that uh, laments so I'll just call it laments menu and then what we're gonna do is basically if I just go to say um, any of the other ones like FTP for instance and I just copy all the files in the FTP paste it into the laments menu so basically there these are all the same the only real difference is that the payload.js is different um, and the payload.js is basically your .bin payload but converted into uh, like a, a uint array in JavaScript now, that may sound complicated, but luckily there is a handy little tool that will do that for you. It will convert a .bin payload into a, uh, you know, a uint array in JavaScript, and it will create the JavaScript file for you, uh, which is really, really simple. So all you have to do is delete the payload.js out of, out of here, and then open up bin to JS. So what we'll do is we'll put the bin for, put the bin file in the same directory as your um, as bin to js, and then drag it over the top of the .bat file, and then that should convert it to a payload.js file. And if we edit that in Notepad, we should see this var payload equals, and then all this data, which is our payload, all our payload data right there, and that is converted. And then all we have to do, of course, is just copy that payload.js into our folder where we're hosting it with all this other files. And that's it. We now have, um, we've done it. We've got, we've got this set up so that there will now be a button in our web kit called laments menu. And when I select it, it will automatically inject this payload without us having to manually do it from a payload injector on the PC. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So all I have to do now that I've edited that is set up our PS4 exploit host again. DNS servers are running. I'll go back over to the PC here. And now when I go on to uh, my P4 
PS4's or my computer's IP address that's hosting the the WebKit. Go to 4.55. There we go. Laments menu is right there, and I can select it. Here we go. It's loading. You're all set, and so now it should come up. There you go. Laments loaded. 4.55. Please launch GTA 5. Didn't need to inject it from the PC. So we've now got that hosted locally and that button will always be there now from which we can now inject. So it's just like any of these other ones now. Really, really simple. So just to show you how to do that with the um, the XAMPP server, uh, which is the other method I was showing you guys before. Um, so I've got my XAMPP server still running. So if you're gonna do it with the XAMPP server method, it's exactly the same thing. If we just take that laments menu, we copy it, we take it to where our website's been hosted on XAMPP, so C, XAMPP, and then htdocs, and then 4.55, just paste it in here. And since that's running, we'll go back to the PS4, same thing again. And this time we just go to 4.55, and there it is right there and if I select it it's going to try and load it but I've already loaded it already so this is just going to out of memory probably yep because I've, because it's already loaded but you get the idea it's working so anyway guys that was just a quick video to show you that uh, that you can do that because it is very very useful especially if you have a payload that you use often but it's not on any of the servers like in any of the the two DNS addresses that I did in my setup video that I showed you um, or the the one on uh, dark software or any, or extreme modding I think has a webkit as well hosted so any of those um, you know if you have a payload that's not on any of those webkits uh, it's kind of annoying having to inject it all the time from the computer so if you can add it like that so it's just a button or a folder on your server that you can you can just select and it will inject for you uh, it's just really handy and it saves lots of time uh, in the future when you go to inject your payloads so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. I think that's one of the shortest videos I've ever made on this channel. Um, or at least at least PS, a PS4 video. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.